12 of the best poker players are fighting it out for the Premier League title. What will happen when egos collide, pride is wounded, and one becomes the champion of champions? Last time, it was a matchup between Phil Helmuth and Tom Dwan, and it was the young internet sensation that rocked the poker brat first hand. You're in the booth again, Fish. You were in the booth last time when it came 5-5 five, five, ace, and I had the ace five, remember? Yeah, I lost that one, too. Phil's already crippled. Well, I know one thing, Durr. You and I are going to play tomorrow, son, because I'm going to watch every hand you play from here on out. Phil Helmuth was uh, absolutely disgraced himself today. Now that's that's the truth. I mean, he's out class. It's possible he just had an awesome read and made a really good fold, um, but it seems crazy to me. Tom Dwan doesn't know me, and he should know, you know, that I've been ruling the Hold'em world for 20 years. But I don't think he recognizes that, and he's not happy with the fish's comments either. If you listen to Devil Fish's commentary, he's gotten personal. Come on, call him, Phil, just so I can take the piss out of you in the green room later, buddy. It was a bad betting man, you know, he shouldn't have bet at the end. He's talking about, I shouldn't even bet on the river. Well, every great player in there, of course I'm supposed to bet on the river. So, I mean, there's kind of a disconnect in his commentary. I think he's gotten personal. I think he might be jealous of me again. If he thought it was made out of chocolate, he would have eaten himself years ago, you know what I mean? It's good when they're jealous of you and when they, when they lose touch with reality, that's a good thing. Going into tonight's match, Tony G started off strong in Premier League 2, and he's doing it again with 10 points through one. He can swing freely, and you know he will. In the playoff zone, both Oberstadt and Helmuth will be in action tonight. And for Phil Helmuth, it's a chance to put some points on the board. In the relegation zone, three of these players will be playing here. DeWolf, healthy, and an ad medic. It's been a bad start for Medic, and you know he wants to improve on the bagel. These poker pumps are primed to play, and you better believe this heat packs a wallop. Six players all in the need of points. You can see the chips on the table. Yellow's worth 1,000, blues are two, reds 5,000 each. There's 100,000 in front of every player and 600K in play. Well, this is exciting to be joined in the box tonight by uh, Tom Dwan, Durr. Um, Tom is the guy that everybody Let's watches, but nobody knows what one. he thinks. So maybe tonight, Tom, you're going to tell us a little bit about that. Something like that. <laughs> oh, and here we have Phil Six. choosing to play a hand. The first hand, in fact. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> and I mean... <laughs> I'd say good play by him. Coming out for a raise. Would have been a pretty good spot, actually, for Tony to re-raise versus Phil. Because Phil's oh. going to fold there too often. You know that Helmuth... I mean, I, I can't remember the last time he started off well in one of these uh, heats. Certainly not last time. <laughs> and this is a nice flop for him. I mean, Roland's going to like... It's a great flop for 9 ten the five. Now, if I was Phil here, I would check behind a huge amount of the time. Well, you have eights, huh? You afraid to give a free card? Just with Phil's image for him to bet this flop is tough. All right. You might have jacks. Could be eight. Six to six thousand and call. Could be ducks. And rolling bed and Phil made a pretty standard call here. Check. 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 Now, I probably would have bet that turn for value and then bet the river again. <laughs> Look at That's this. A pretty lucky river for Roland. But has has Phil made a mistake on the turn here, or is no, he I mean, going to gain a lot? On it's the not river? that bad. Uh, I would doing? generally bet the turn, but I would check it sometimes. I'm done anything. I, I don't mind his check really. Uh, it obviously sucks that a five rolled off for him, but uh, it's not that bad. I would generally bet it, but um, I don't uh, I don't mind it too much. And I mean, obviously. It, to me, it's, it feels very tough for Phil to fold to any bet. I mean, should Roland get yeah, greedy Roland here? Yeah, Roland bet 20,000 here, and it's, it's, this is a tough spot for Phil. I mean, I, 
would end up paying it off almost every time. Wow, is this the first hand again? It's unbelievable. I mean, Dury, you know it's an you know you know it's an easy call, right? But this is where I'm a little bit different than the rest of the world. That's unbelievable. It really is. Wow. Feels like a ridiculously so good lay down. Yeah, that's pretty me. awesome, Michael. You guys all think I had nothing. That's so so beautiful too. They're always shocked later when they say he had what? So beautiful. So you want to book me? <laughs> <laughs> you want to book you? Yeah, I mean, I want to book you if we can all vote on who played the worst. By the way, Durr, if Tony wins this, I just want you to know that every one that he's won, the commentators totally oh. insulted him the whole time. It's so sick. Raise to 6,000 total. Can they get under Tony G's skin? Not with nice the aces. Cool. And he has flat called Medicare. Now, Tony G said... He didn't really have jacks. Cool. Before this tournament began, that Nanad is one of the guys oh, he's didn't. played with quite a bit. <laughs> was Ace King any good? Helmus in as well. Three ways here. And it's a straight draw for Medic. If he fires out a continuation bet here, I mean, this is a guy who got a bagel his first time out. He if he gets short stacked five. here, he could be out of the Premier League. Ace 10, you bet 20 to dimes, 30, wow. That's unbelievable. 13 up to 30 from G with the bullets. As long as they make fun of him, as long as they keep saying that Tony G has no play, you know what? He's going to keep showing them the money. Do you want to book me on it? That's what we're really talking about. Big mouth and a big game when it comes to the big stage. Tony G's poker keys are heart and commitment, and he's had plenty of results. He's the Bad Boys champion, Asian Poker Tour champion, and third in this tournament last year. I was more of a street kid early on in life, and growing up in the Soviet Union. So yeah, it was very rough times and a lot of experience, and I went to Australia, and I guess I learned. I, I'm a, I was an addicted compulsive gambler as a kid. I like to knock people down because I think I'm, a, I'm more of a battler, more of, of a player with not that, that much ability. Anyone at home could play as good as me. I really believe that. The, the key is you have to be prepared to die if you want to win. You can never save yourself because you're too good to be all in. That's not, that's not true. You can be very conservative early on, but ultimately once your stack gets to that level that you can get enough leverage to pick up some chips, you have to push it. And that's what I do. I'm fearless. Tony G, like the ultimate hustler. He's got 10 points on the board, and yet everybody thinks he's an idiot. He's got a career like that. I mean, already, like, the point standings are going to should dictate how people play. Um, you know, guys like Ninad here and, uh, and Helmuth and Roland, they really need to get some points on the board. Yeah, I mean, I think they need to be <laughs> playing pretty aggressively, trying to win a large amount of time. <laughs> You know, this is like the definition of temptation, isn't it? You kind of tell yourself you have to tighten up, and then you get the ten jack suited, or yeah. I mean, I think Nanad's got a call there. Try, try. And he'll probably end up winning the spot. The, ch the check, the check raises the mission here. Um, I'm, I'm kind of surprised he checked actually. You would I'd expect him to bet it uh, with thousand. his stack size a decent amount of the time. But yeah, now I'm. He's either going to be check raising or planning to bluff later almost every time, um, unless he like turns a jack or something. Cool. Obviously, in the, the pot he got I'm knocked out on uh, his first time at it was sort of a check raise on the turn that he uh, to you. Uh, right. That was somewhat of a different situation because uh, it was, yeah. ch it was yeah. possible that his hand was good with ace high, whereas here with jack high, it's so unlikely that his hand's good. Well, he may have been check-raising the flop. He had turned the flush draw, and Annette's now checked behind him. And, I mean, <coughs> there's 27,000 in there. What's the best move for Annette here? I mean, I think I would bet it, but I don't like... Uh, she, she could have been playing a queen behind uh, to pay off the river, That's right? Well, and she might even call tens some small amount of the time there. I would definitely plan on check-raising the flop, and if not, I'd, if I didn't want it for whatever reason, I'd lead out the flop. 
on the floor that he got it through, but it felt kind of dangerous there, didn't it? Yeah, I just think... I agree. I think it's pretty dangerous. And then that may have gave himself a talking to after heat number one. He certainly seems... What, what would be he's your here price? to score what points tonight.